Look at what's happened to our country in the last eight months. I don't think our country has ever seen a period like this, how bad, how badly we're doing. And then you take a look at the border and then uh, oh, the worst of all is what took place in Afghanistan. Yeah. That withdrawal, the withdrawal was the most incompetently handled withdrawal or anything else in the history of our country. We're embarrassed in front of the world, Rob. I mean, how, how did he do it? You know, you, you look at this, it's obviously not an easy job. You know that. But when you look at what Biden has done in just such a short period of time, he had every advantage, right? I mean, people joke all the time. All he had to do was just show up. Everything was kind of set up pretty nicely. He had the vaccine going in. He had a secure border. Uh, and he managed to just fumble so many things. How, how, did you ever think it would be this bad? Well, I used to say a lot of bad things are going to happen. I didn't believe them on energy. You know, they were saying energy, just fine. We'll sort of leave it. But they didn't leave it. And now we're no longer energy independent. We were energy independent a little while ago. $1.87 a gallon for gasoline. Now it's at $5 and higher in many yeah. places. But, I mean, that's the least of it. Inflation, all of the things that are happening. But when I look at the border where people are pouring in by the millions, and then you look at what happened in Afghanistan, and now it was just revealed today that they didn't vet the people. They didn't vet any right. of these people coming out. They're vetting them now. They're already out. It's, uh, there's never been anything like this between the, the killing of our young people, our young great people, and, by the way, 250 other people, yeah. and also the giving them $850 billion worth of the best military equipment in the world. There's never been a, a greater embarrassment than we've suffered this last week. You know, I, I want to talk more about Afghanistan. If you, if you watch uh, the mainstream news, I know you do. Democrats, their allies in the media, they suggest a lot of the blame on this lies with you, that your policies, that your agreement set Biden up to fail. I want to get your response to that. Well, it's so ridiculous. And actually, they're not using it too much anymore. You know, we had a great agreement. You don't kill our soldiers. I had very strong talks with the leader, Abdul. I had a lot of strong talks, and they knew what was going to happen. And you just take a look over the last few months. That's when the whole thing fell down. I was not there, and it all fell down. But they knew, don't mess around. We had – can you imagine taking the military out before you get your citizens out, the American people out? They took the military out first. We took the military. We would have taken it out last. And by the way, they didn't meet the conditions. And every time they didn't meet the conditions, we bombed them. Look, I stopped ISIS, 100 percent of the ISIS caliphate, Soleimani, uh, al-Baghdadi, all gone. This was easy by comparison. And what they did is a disgrace to this country. And I haven't heard they're blaming. I heard they tried to blame me at the beginning, but now they're, they're getting shot down even by the liberal media. What they did is a disgrace to our nation. This should have never happened. Those young people and all of the others should have never been killed. And it's, by the way, they shouldn't be having our billions of dollars worth of equipment. Yeah, that's that's the biggest embarrassment. I mean, that's just that's just so humiliating to watch uh, these Neanderthals walking around wearing our equipment and, and running around in our, our trucks and in our helicopters. It's just unbelievable. Lindsey Graham says, sir, that we're going to be going back uh, back into Afghanistan with boots on the ground at some point. What are your thoughts on that? Well, it's a shame. Look, I was all for getting out a long time ago. We should have never been in. In my opinion, the greatest mistake in the history of our country was getting into the Middle East. 21 years of bombing and exploding and people dying on both sides, millions of people, and nothing, absolutely nothing was accomplished. Getting into the Middle East, spending trillions of dollars, all of that death and blood, and it was so ridiculous. And I was against that from the beginning. It was ridiculous what they did. And then you look at this disaster in Afghanistan, this total disaster. I don't know. Look, now they have, you know, they're one of the best equipped armies in the world. Can you believe it? From having knives to having the best planes and tanks yeah. and, and uh, trucks, 75,000 trucks. Who ever heard of 75,000 brand new, beautiful trucks? what they did. Why didn't we take it out? It's not even conceivable that we didn't take this stuff out. The airplanes, we left them, helicopters, airplanes. Why didn't we fly that stuff out? Billions of dollars. Well, they, now, they thought the it, Afghan army terrible. was going to use it, right? They, they were under the impression the Afghan army was going to hold on, and somehow yeah. they did not see this coming, which is just unbelievable. Well, I saw it coming, and a lot of people saw it coming. I've been, telling, I've been saying for years that that place, I said, Connie is a crook. 
I never, ever trusted that guy. Ghani was a crook, and now they catch him leaving with cash. So much cash he couldn't fit into his helicopters. They left it on the runway, a lot of it. But Ghani, and they were going to immediately fold when it's obvious that we had to leave or we were going to leave. And that's what they did. The United States paid these people a fortune to fight a war. They weren't fighting from their heart. They were fighting because they were being paid a lot of yeah. money. Smart people knew that they were going to give up immediately and go to the other side. They basically went to the other side immediately. It's disgraceful. It is disgraceful. We could, we could talk about Afghanistan all day because yeah. uh, we've been highlighting on the show. It's been mistake after mistake after mistake. Every night, it's just more embarrassment for the country. I want to move on to China for a second because it's important. Um, obviously, the Chinese, like every other country in the world, sensing weakness in the United States right now. They sent several nuclear-capable bombers over the tiny island of Taiwan uh, a couple of days ago. That's, that's a big statement right there in itself. You think Xi Jinping will make any kind of a real move against Taiwan? Could happen. When he looks at Afghanistan, when he looks at the incompetence of our television generals, we have great generals. You know, when I took out ISIS, I dealt with the generals, and they were phenomenal. But you don't see them on television. They're not the television generals. When he sees what you and I are looking at and the incompetence and the weakness, it could very well happen. And by the way, there was never a threat of attacking Taiwan when I was president. There was never a threat. You, now everyone's talking about it. They didn't talk about it when I was president. It wasn't going to happen. Yeah. They were scared of you. I mean, simply put, I mean, they just nobody had ever seen anybody lead the country that way. They, they you made them nervous. And I think we can all admit that you just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.